a great number of people are living lives that they think other people want them to live. People will often raise their hands in seminars that I do, and they'll say, how do I know what my purpose is? Well, in truth, looking over the years, I've noticed many of the people that ask that question haven't even started to live their own lives yet. They're living a life that Uncle Ed wanted them to live, or a life that Aunt Margaret wanted them to live, or their mother, or their father, and they've been gone for years. And they wonder what's missing. Well, what's missing is their real life. You have to start living at some point. What you're doing in life has to be real to your soul. And that's what your purpose is. You know, when we make a purchase, we want the real thing, the genuine article. I was on one of my cruises one time in a, in a Caribbean island, and I bought a watch from a street vendor that I thought was a real good deal. Well, it turned out not to be the brand that you would think. And then later on, I thought, gee, it wasn't that silly to do that. And what kind of a bargain is that? Well, often we bargain with ourselves. We try to make ourselves acceptable to others. But don't you want to be the real thing? When you're the real thing, that is your avenue to happiness and soul satisfaction. Now, being real requires a piercing self-honesty. If we're honest with ourselves, we can express our real selves, and other people will respond to us with real trust. This is a good way to live, feeling good about ourselves and having others feel good about us. No one has to be a fake. No one has to live in a cosmetic way. You can be the real thing if you want to be. And you'll find out that this is real living. God bless you.